one in or out. It's cool. It's not cool. And if anybody knows cool, it's Batman. Because Batman is the epitome of cool, except for that one time when he had nipples on the bat suit, but I blame Joel Schumacher for that. The rest of the time, Batman is cool. Wham! Pow! Crash! It's Batman Arkham Asylum, being played here on The On Live, a 2009 release for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. It's common knowledge as of this review that Batman Arkham Asylum is a good game. But what makes it good? The gameplay is hardly original and it feels kind of slow and brooding at times. But it constantly keeps you on your toes and throws surprises your way when you least expect it. Additionally, beating the crap out of thugs as Batman always feels great. However, the combat can be a bit stop and start if you don't combo everything together. The standard criminals never even come close to putting up a real fight. You've got to figure that's how it is in the world of Batman. The average goon is not really going to pose much of a threat to Batman. It's the characters who have fancy names or trademarks that you have to worry about. And they're in this game. It's not just Batman plodding around a jail. Arkham Asylum is much larger than the name would imply. And this game will keep you busy for a while. <laughs> You get to fight and punch people out as Batman, but this is not a straight-up action game. You'll do a lot of exploring as well as play detective. And while this is not the most visually exciting game because it only consists of four colors, it's extremely dark and desaturated, it does stick with the source material. Batman is dark. The problem is that given the length of time you'll be playing this game, it all starts to look the same. But what it lacks in the color and vibrancy department, it more than makes up for with excellent writing and storytelling that will keep you on the edge of your seat the entire time. I liked this detective mode, which really feels like cheating. You can see through walls and tell what each of the guards is doing. But it's always rewarding to punch them out from above. Many times during Arkham Asylum, you'll have to use your bat brain to figure things out. You'll wander through lots of hallways, and there's even some boss battles. As of this recording, you can pick up Batman Arkham Asylum easily used, or you can rent or buy it from OnLive, which is what I'm playing here. Streaming the game from the magic cloud where hot fairies live and play video games. This works well on the PC with a mouse or keyboard, or you can use it with the OnLive game system and controller. One of the things that I like about OnLive is that since I've published that my username on there when playing games is, surprise, Classic Game Room, the show you're watching, people will spectate and give me thumbs up when I win boss battles. Hooray for me! The game runs smoothly on OnLive, I had no delay problems. Visually, it's a bit muted compared to the console versions, like most of the games, but this one is dark anyway. I tear your mind apart. And it's an affordable rental or purchase. This is the Game of the Year edition as well. Doesn't make any sense. And like all on-live games, you can play a free trial for a half hour, but considering it takes about a half hour to even get into this game after the opening credits and introductory scenes, you may want to just take everybody else's word for it. Batman Arkham Asylum is worth playing and shows the kind of big budget releases you can get on on-live like Prince of Persia and Assassin's Creed. Although I think I've still spent 95% of my time playing Defense Grid. What can I say? I love tower defense. And I like this game quite a bit, more than I thought I would initially, but it really got me with the storyline, and it reminds me of the Chronicles of Riddick game that I dug on Xbox. It has a similar pacing style, and it's, uh, and it's like you're somewhere that shouldn't be that big, but it's friggin' huge. And you just keep going further and further and further into it. It's Batman Arkham Asylum. The walls talk. Oh, come to
Hi, Davis. Help! She's dead. Someone tell Joker. Too easy. Played you like a violin and cut your strings. Nighty night, bats. <laughs>